Now that we've built, um, I think the kitchen and scullery area seems to be my favourite, yeah. Trav's domain. Yeah, my domain. <laughs> talked about in the showroom, I've just gathered a few samples here so we can start playing around with layouts and locations of your feature tiles. So I think we'll start with the kitchen first. We talked about a brick bond pattern and so that would go just to your kitchen splash back and down to your scullery as well. So really good because it's helping me to visualise how it's it going to look. Like. So we talked about the um, the cup mm. pulls and the knobs so that would be included in the kitchen along with your bench tops and cupboards but what we were saying before was the grout colour and whether we would do a white grout or go for something a little bit contrasting. I think since we're doing the brick bond I'd like people to see it so I do like the idea of it the being idea contrasting. Of a darker grout. Now, not too dark though. That's what I was going to say. I was going to put in a dark one and see what you think there. I think looking at your bench top colour, going the lighter one I think would tie it in with a yeah. bench top. This is a really subtle feature rather than really highlighting every single tile. I agree. Keep it a little, little subtle but a slight, slightly yeah. darker than the tile. Well, this kitchen scullery space yeah, is a bit of my domain during the normal week-to-week -week running. Um, I do have my particular routine about how things are cooked in here and how things are cleaned up and, and washed and, yeah, really got my spaces where I like to place things while they're getting cut or place things while, after they've been rinsed off. And, um, yeah, I'm a little bit protective about how things like that happen, in particular stacking the dishwasher. It definitely took a few weeks to work out, you know, how you got around the new kitchen and the scullery without bumping into things or dribbling water everywhere, which Still does. she doesn't like. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely I'm very happy with, with how it flows and, you know, at the same time, it being so close to the living area, I can do all that whilst still engaging with the kids. The scullery probably in particular was really important to us because we wanted to have a dedicated drop zone. We didn't want our beautiful kitchen bench to be the place where everybody's bags, shoes, whatever other rubbish from the end of the day was dumped. We wanted there to be a drop zone that was out of sight and that was practical so it was easy for everybody to have a space to put their junk. You've talked about that you would like to include a drop zone space, some for the kids to put their school bags, but as well somewhere to store the dog leads um, and sort of your everyday bits and pieces that generally would just get thrown around. Definitely. We'd like it sort of hidden away, so instead of the drop zone being somewhere out where visitors can see or we can see, it's sort of hidden. Mm -hmm. And we like the idea of a little drawer for each of us, including our dog, where we can store our little bits yeah. and pieces. I think a good space would be just coming off your laundry where you come in through the garage so that's that can be the spot where everyone will dump their items but as well then it's close to your kitchen area and where you're exiting the home as well to go to your car. For me the layout of having the laundry scullery kitchen together that the flow of that was important because I liked having all of the working rooms together but especially I wanted to have the shopper's entrance from the garage into the laundry scullery area, both for convenience with shopping, but more importantly, so that everybody's shoes and bags are dumped there as opposed to at the front of the house. One of the non-negotiables for the kitchen living space was that there had to be a dedicated space for my teacup collection. I think it would be good to include some glazed overheads, perhaps just opposite the island bench, so where you're sitting, you're able to see into those. You've got to be sure that you've got contents in them that is worth showcasing. My teacup collection can yeah. go in there. There's plenty <laughs> that can go in there. <laughs> I had had my teacup collection in storage for the, the two and a half years that we've been renting. So I was very keen to get that out on display. I 
probably best notice the functionality of the home working well in the busy mornings. So I do the morning drop off with the kids. So I'm hustling kids out the door. So it's really handy to go down the scullery to the bench seat, get your shoes out of your drawer, put your shoes on and straight out the garage door into the car. That's efficient. We perceive ourselves to be quite busy people and we thought, oh, we need something that, you know, flows getting in and out of the house. Um, in particular, I, I really like outside and we're raising a family and I, I want them outside as much as possible. And being able to, when the house can flow out and we can quickly get outside or the kids can get outside and we can still remain in the living area and, and keep an eye on them and engage with them to a degree, I think uh, that's turned out really well.